February is Black History Month, and here at Action News, we are celebrating Jacksonville's difference makers. The name James Weldon Johnson is a familiar one here, but many don't know the depth of his accomplishments. Our Derek Odom has this morning's Black History Month profile. Yeah, this was a fun one to do. When it comes to prominent figures in black history, few are more accomplished than James Weldon Johnson, and he was born right here in the River City. Throughout the month of February, there will be several black history celebrations, and inevitably at those celebrations, you're going to hear the song Lift Every Voice and Sing. What many First Coast residents may not know is that song was composed right here in Jacksonville, but that's just one of many accomplishments of James Weldon Johnson. That song may be James Weldon Johnson's most well-known and visible accomplishment, but this man did so much more to carve his place in history. James Weldon Johnson, I like to say, is one of Jacksonville's best kept secrets. His legacy is enormous. Not only was he the composer, along with his brother, of Lift Every Voice and Sing, but he was a statesman for the United States. He represented us in, as a consul in Nicaragua and Venezuela. He was an accomplished lawyer, he was a college professor, a, a high school teacher. Uh, he was also a, one of the early civil rights activists. Uh, as a member of the NAACP. Johnson's influence on Jacksonville remains evident to this very day. He served as principal of Stanton, then an elementary school for African-American children, and now a college preparatory academy high school. And of course, James Weldon Johnson Elementary School is a magnet college preparatory elementary school named in his honor. With a figure such as Johnson in Jacksonville's rich history, where does that place us in the black history hierarchy? I think that puts us right up there uh, on the top tier of historical places and significant people in a city with a heritage that should be cherished by everyone really 365 days a year, not just during Black History Month. The Ritz Theater and Museum offers an education into the rich tapestry that is Jacksonville's Black History for young and old alike. We hope that people will take with them, especially our young people, a sense of pride in the local story, their local heritage, uh, a feeling of being part of something that helped shape America, not just Jacksonville, not just Florida, a sense of uh, responsibility to carry on that legacy. The Ritz Theater houses this exhibit all year long, so you don't have to wait till Black History Month to learn about the great life of James Weldon Johnson. In downtown Jacksonville, I'm Derek Odom, Action News. There, and there he is right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, magic. That's, who, who knew? <laughs> I know, it's, it's, it's amazing that someone that diverse, I mean, he was one of the first African Americans to pass the bar. He wow. was the principal of Stanton, so he was an educator as well, and a diplomat. A lot, uh, he did a lot in, in his lifetime, and uh, all that stuff is at the Ritz Theater Museum, and they cover the whole history of Jacksonville. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's so rich. Those pictures really put it in perspective Absolutely. for all of us, taking us right back in time. Everybody needs to go. Check it out. Good stuff. Thanks, Derek. Time right now is 8.51. Let's toss it over to Tom. Now, your first alert forecast, Jacksonville's most accurate. Nicely done, Derek. Let's take one final look at our first alert forecast.